Hello you guys, it is Nessie Baby. If you are an old subscriber of mine, hello. I know I used to post a lot of Disney videos and other weird things, so this is gonna be a really, really, really weird way to jump back on my channel. And if you are coming here from my other social medias, hello, I'm happy you're here. Thank you for coming to my YouTube. But yeah, my life has been crazy lately. I have just been doing a lot of work on social media, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Surprise! I am getting my boobies done. I am getting a breast augmentation. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I've literally been going back and forth with this decision for years. Like, as soon as all of my friends started to finish puberty and I was, like, done with puberty and I was still completely flat, I just kind of knew that I wanted to get my boobs done when I was older. My mom got hers done, so that kind of, you know, made me a little less anxious about it because she was always supportive of, you know, like when you turn 18 and you decide you really want to do it one day, like I'll be supportive about it. But yeah, I just want to be very, very clear because I know on social media, um, people can be really, really mean, especially on my TikTok. I've noticed a lot of people just comment about my chest. So I just kind of wanted to make it like, a big statement. Um, I shouldn't have to, but I just want to make it aware that I'm doing this for myself and because I want to just be able to look in the mirror and, you know, appreciate my body as a woman a little bit more because I've always felt like a little underdeveloped. If you have like a chest that's the same size as mine and you love it, then great. Like, I'm so happy for you. Because something like this is a really hard decision, so I don't want to seem like I'm pushing anybody who, like, has the same size chest as me. Like, oh, you need to get your boobs done to be happy. Like, I don't want it to seem like that either. But it's just a very personal decision, and I just want to, you know, look a little bit better in my tops and feel a little bit more confident in, like, my bathing suits and just, like you know, have that like extra little sparkle of confidence inside myself. So like, it's important for me, but for nobody else. And I think that's something you really need to think about if you're gonna get a procedure like this done. Like, are you doing this because of what other people think about you? Or are you doing this because you really, really, really wanna do it? I'm really, really like scared of surgery. I've never had like a big surgery before. I've never broken any major bones. So like, surgery is not fun for me. I'm also very scared of like needles and IVs. So I know like later on in this video when I'm like surgery day, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little anxious for me. I'll show you guys my like chest right now on my like consultation day part of this video. So um, that'll be in a little bit, but I will show you like the before, the um, and the after obviously and the healing process and all that. Well, I should probably say the date. It's, um, it's Memorial Day weekend. I know that for a fact. So it's, the end of May. We are about to be in June and my consultation day is on June 22nd. I'm actually going to go to the same doctor that did my mom's the last time. I looked at his work online and then I'm going to go have my consultation and he seems like a really busy guy. He's doing surgeries like all day and I'm excited to talk to him and like I said I'm super nervous so I really like the fact that I'm going to be able to like sit and talk to him um, beforehand. I have no idea like what month I'm getting surgery in right now. It could be as soon as July or as late as like December. So I really am not sure when this video is going to be up. I could be literally getting my breasts done in the middle of summer. But yeah, obviously the healing process is about like four to four to eight weeks. So I do have to keep that in mind. I have to see if I have like any trips planned when I'm booking my like surgery appointment. Very excited. I will have my boyfriend taking care of me and here with me at part as of my little adventure. So yeah, you guys, this is real. This is crazy. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time because literally right now, like I have nothing. Um, obviously I have a little bit of a bump but I am probably like a very small A cup. Um, I don't really ever wear bras because they're just like uncomfortable. Like they just hurt because they feel unnecessary because there's nothing to push up. On that note, um, I will see you guys on consultation day and I'll show you my little um, bikini top. What's going on and what's popping? So I'll see you guys soon. Oh, what the heck? What the 
back. Good morning, you guys. Um, it is about 10.30 on Tuesday, the 22nd, and I can't even believe I'm saying this right now, but it is consultation day. I feel like it went by so fast from like the last time I filmed for this video. I almost completely forgot to film today and then I remembered I was making this like whole series of my journey. Pardon the no makeup, I have to get ready for the day still. My consultation is actually at five o'clock um, this afternoon. So today basically what I'm going to be doing is my mom's gonna come pick me up around 4.30. We're gonna drive over to Weston where my surgeon is. So we're gonna go over there and then I'm gonna meet the doctor. I'm gonna wear um I'm gonna wear a bra when I go because I usually don't wear bras because I literally like don't have anything to hold. So it's just like unnecessary for me to wear bras. When I'm wearing regular shirts and like dresses and stuff, I can kind of put like a push-up bra underneath and like fake it a little bit. But again, like there's really not much to push up. So I still never get like that nice cleavage that I'm looking for. Right now, I'm gonna show you a little clip of me in a bikini top. So that is me in my bikini top. Obviously there is a little something, but it is very close to nothing. I guess that's kind of a wrap for now. So I will see you guys in a little bit when I have um, some makeup on and when my mom gets here you guys get to see my mom and then she's going to drive me over to my consultation We're gonna go do that and I will film as much in there as I can Very big day you guys. Thank you for following along so far and I will see you in a few hours when we're going to the consultation Hi guys, so my mom's about to be here to take me to my consultation. So this is the outfit I'm just wearing some cute little sweatpants things and this really really tight white shirt that you can see my bra through it looks really tacky but yeah as you can see here this is like a regular this is like a little bit push-up so in the top you see i don't get i don't get very much cleavage at all yeah I think I find out my surgery date today, so I'll keep you updated. I, don't know, I was like getting dressed for my consultation, and like all of my fear left my body. I was like, I'm ready to get my boobs on right now. I'm ready to wear all of my cute shirts and be excited. So, yeah, good things only. Um, I will film when I'm in the car with my mom. So let's go. I forgot to record in the car, but we just pulled up. This is the medical cosmetic surgery center office. There's my mom going in. She got Starbucks without me. You got Starbucks without me. I sure did. Oh, a queen. <laughs> All right, let's go. Use the ball, but it's not that bad. Fancy. In the consultation room, we just saw the doctor and it was all good news. It looked good. He can do the size that I want, and it's like the easiest procedure ever. Um, they're gonna be going under my muscle and not through the nipple because like I really don't have any to work with, which is what I wanted anyways. We're about to go talk to the money lady, I think. The scheduling surgery money lady. Yeah, good, good times. A little scary in here. Hello guys, sorry my makeup's a little crazy today. Um, I'm doing a goodbye bread photo shoot when I come back from my appointment, but today is my pre-op day and it's crazy because I feel like the last time you saw me was like yesterday, but it was really like two weeks ago at my consultation. I'm so comfortable there, everything sounds good, super easy surgery. So today I'm going back for my pre-op appointment, which basically I have to give blood, pay for my surgery, take like my before pictures and like talk about all the details and that good stuff. So it's really funny. I have to go to the doctors with my um, crazy eyeliner on, but it's okay. They deserve to have look served there. So that's pretty much it. Super excited. My mom's going to go with me again because I'm still a scared child and I hate getting uh, my blood drawn. Um, I passed out once and uh, yeah, I've been scared ever since. <laughs> Very exciting thing. I'll definitely vlog as much as I can. Um, hopefully I'm not like nervous to shit and I don't forget everything. My surgery is less than a month away. Crazy, 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 crazy. So excited. We are going to Orlando this weekend just to like get my mind off of things, get out of town for a little bit. So very much needed trip. We're gonna have some bitties soon. I'm so excited, you guys. 
and be sure to definitely check out all my links down below. You can follow along with my procedure on my Instagram and if you do want to see like behind the scenes and more like graphic photos of all that, you can subscribe to my OF which will also be linked down below so I'll probably mention that a few times throughout the video. So um, I'll see you guys when my mom gets here and we're on our way. Hi guys, oh my hair looks like shit. We're on the way to the appointment, we're going over the bridge on the Everglades. I'll show you guys the Everglades if you want to see the Everglades. Well that's just a truck stop. almost everything blocked out a little bit they had to put the, the stuff up my nose to make me come back alive again for a second i have wounds they got me on this arm and they got me on this arm so she had to stick me twice and i was fine on the first one but the first one hurt more than the second one so when she went in the second time i guess i expected it to hurt or i don't know but i passed out um i need to let them know that this arm is my good arm because if they try to get blood from this side they're not going to get any and um I'm gonna pass out. She's half alive. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> half alive. So now I'm gonna go home and eat some snacks and just try to feel a little bit better because that was rough and I still have a whole photo shoot I have to do today, so that's gonna suck now. The pre-op went well. All I did was, well, we paid for everything, so that's fun. Uh, signed a bunch of papers, took my pictures, did the blood, which that was terrifying. That's pretty much what we did. The healing process is not going to be fun for the first few days, so I'm not excited for that. But I'm going to put my arm down because it hurts. Hey you guys, sorry I look a little crunchy today. Um, it's the morning, but today is one week till surgery and I have to get my COVID test. So I figured I would take you guys along with me because COVID tests are a little bit scary and the whole vlogging process makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, I've taken a bunch of COVID tests before, so I don't really know why I'm that scared, but um, yeah, I'll be okay. You guys, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. Words cannot express how excited I am for my surgery. Of course, there's nerves. Yeah, lots of lots of things happening for me this week that aren't necessarily good, and it kind of sucks because I don't want to be stressed out the week of my surgery. The universe works in crazy ways, and it, it is what it is. So, yeah, we are currently in line at the drugstore drive through to do my COVID test, and I'm going to drop off all of my prescriptions. I'm wearing my Halloween Horror Night shirt because it's almost spooky season, you guys. Um, we're going to Disney in September, so I'm probably going to vlog that. Oh my god, you guys. I went to the wrong CVS. So now I'm I'm late, so that's good. Love that for me. Hopefully they still take my shit. And I have no gas. I need to get gas. Holy shit. So what you guys just saw was me going to the wrong location um, to do my COVID test. And now I'm late, so I don't know if they're going to take me. And then I realized I like had two miles of gas left in my car because I'm that stupid and I had to stop at a gas station so I'm extra late. Okay so we made it to the right CVS but the problem is now that there's like three cars in front of me so I'm gonna be here for quite a while. I'm really about to reschedule this for tomorrow because yeah this is like insane so so I'm gonna go back tomorrow afternoon I made another appointment at the one I wanted to go to originally so Okay guys, here goes round two of me trying to get my COVID test done. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but today we're doing the real thing, okay? It's just like, I don't know, a little nerve wracking, I guess. It's coming up so fast, like, so fast. It's like, I keep having these little fits of like nervousness and then I'm just like, no, nah, I'm so excited. My surgery's in six days. It's like less than a week away now and like, it's just insane. This month has gone by so quick and I was so lucky to like get a surgery date as soon as I did because if I didn't get these like two appointments, if I didn't get my pre-op or my surgery date, like, you know, it just so happened to be a day that someone had canceled their appointment, I was gonna have to wait until like around Christmas. I was gonna have to get it done like a few days before Christmas, which would have sucked. And it's like only the end of summer. So yeah, here we go. COVID test time. Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Well, that sucked. I'm happy I got that over with. Hopefully I get my results in a few days so I can send them in to my doctor. My nose hurts now. Hi guys, so it's the night before surgery. Um, things are definitely real and crazy and emotions are kind of good. Um, I'm a little bit nervous just because I feel like everything came so quickly. I kind of feel like I had no time to prepare and like I thought it was gonna like, I don't know, I just thought it was gonna go by slower than it did. So it's just crazy. Basically, all my stuff is good. My COVID test came back good. I filmed a little bit of that. Tonight, I'm gonna take through with you guys, you know, because this is a whole experience, learning experience together thing. I'm gonna take through with you guys what you have to do like the night and the morning of surgery because I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film like before I actually get to surgery tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go through all that now. Basically, this is, this is my folder of information and my bag of medications. This is a lot of info, so I'm not gonna read through the entire thing. It's like literally pages. And I was at my pre-op for like an hour and she was explaining the whole thing. So I have like a special soap that I've had to use in the shower. I have the special ointment that like um, I have had to put on. And you're supposed to do that like the first, like two days before surgery. And that's basically just like antibacterial stuff that helps like with the days leading up to surgery to make sure you're extra super clean. They also gave me this like vegan herbal supplement called Silogen, which is like a new thing, I guess. I don't know, very cool, but it's like vegan and all natural and it just helps your body heal faster. So that as well, I've been taking two days prior to surgery and you're actually not supposed to take that one the day of surgery. So very interesting, very fun fact. I have four other medications two of them i'm not exactly sure what i'm supposed to do with them yet i assume they're gonna tell me that tomorrow and i actually can't eat anything or drink anything past 12 o'clock tonight and i think it's like almost nine o'clock so i have to eat up in a bit and like munch all i can so i'm not starving tomorrow morning but good news i am like the first client of the day so my appointment is bright and early at 6 45 a.m so I don't have that much time to worry tomorrow. I'm literally just gonna wake up and then go back to sleep and then wake up again with um, a new chest. So that's gonna be really cool, I guess. Kinda nervous, but yeah. I also am going to take some multivitamins tonight before I go to sleep, probably drink a glass of orange juice, get all the last like vitamins I can in my body before my surgery tomorrow. I just feel like, I don't know, it's a good idea. That's basically it for that. I know every doctor is different, so this might not be exactly the same for you. Like for my doctor, I know they don't like to prescribe like heavy stuff or like, you know, more like addictive type stuff. So they prescribe more um, natural medication. The cats can't be sleeping with us for a few days. So that sucks. We had to clean the entire apartment today. Salem, you can't sleep with us tonight, baby. How do you feel? Or tomorrow night, or probably the night after, but then we'll see after that. She's in her PJs, but I think it's gonna be a interesting night. I'm not sure how good I'm gonna go to sleep because usually when I'm nervous, it's really hard for me to sleep. And I told Jay to make sure he films me like if I'm too messed up to film myself because I'm okay with being a little bit embarrassed. I think it'll be really funny just to see myself like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really good time. I've never had like crazy anesthesia like that before, so. On that note, I will see you guys in the morning. I can't believe we're doing this tomorrow. I'm so excited. And it's like my last night with the bees on my little chest. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, it, it doesn't feel real. It feels like I'm not doing this. I feel like, like I'm not actually doing this, but I am. It's like the last night. But all right. See you tomorrow. It's a big day. Good morning, you guys. It is finally... The day of surgery, I have my little surgery braid. They told me to put in, my skin's not looking too hot today, but I don't think that's what matters. And I've got my pajamas. I have my little like nightgown that opens in the front for after that I'm bringing, cause I'm not gonna be able to put stuff over my head. I, it's crazy. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Like the nerves are, like I don't even know how to feel. Took the two medications that I was supposed to take in the morning. And Jay's gonna come with me 
and he's going to make sure I'm okay and chill out with my parents until I'm out of surgery. So, yeah, I'm very, very I'm excited. Busted. We both look busted. My parents are going to be here soon, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready, so I'll film a little bit on the way there. I'll see how much I can film in there, and then you guys will see me after. So, today's going to go by so quick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, I will film more when... Um, my mom gets here, obviously I can't eat or drink anything until after surgery, so I'm really hungry, but it's all for, all for the better, so, be okay. I'll see you guys soon. You were right about the- It's like dead silent. Nobody's in here, but the door was open. So I'm just chilling. I'm kind of confused. Well, don't I look scrumptious? I look so good. I look like- a lunch lady. Um, I'm shaking a little bit. I almost passed out. So I'm sniffing the alcohol pack. But um, yeah, I don't do good with IVs. I don't do good with IVs, but I'm gonna get started here soon. I don't know how much more I can film, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here we are, we're doing it. You can take Ziploc sandwich sized bags, just fill them with some ice, <laughs> lay them over here, move them around every once in a while. They help with pain and swelling. No okay. on off, just keep it on as much as you can. No peeking under these dressings. They're on strategically. It's to be left alone. When she comes in tomorrow, we'll take everything off and we'll put her in a bra and we'll tell her then when she can shower. While she's in bed, we just don't want her completely flat. Okay. You, know, you need to stay still. A back pillow. You have a what? I got rid of the back pillow from Target. Okay. Her, keep reminding her, no reaching, pulling, lifting. If she uses the muscle of her arm, it'll change where the implants sit. Oh, you don't want your implants All right, to move. All right, so she's got two weeks for this to settle in the spot that we have for her. Okay. Okay. your ass because I don't care. I have titties. So you're feeling good? I'm feeling okay. That's good. Um, I'm gonna look at your notes and everything and see yeah, what you do. I look very busted. But you actually look pretty good. It's just your hair is a little messed up. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good surgery. My doctors were amazing. My anesthesiologist made me feel really good. I was I was literally asleep in like 10 seconds. Like Yeah, I'm sad I couldn't go back there with you. I know. They wouldn't let us. I know. So I was like all alone, so that was kind of scary, but I trust my doctor. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good so far. I'm not used to them like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> the surgery went so well. Like, I'm so happy. And there was really absolutely no reason for me to be nervous. Like, the nurses were so nice. I'm telling you, they literally had me, like, go to the bathroom, took me into the surgery room, switched my IV to the anesthesia, put, like, a, uh, a mask on my face. And I swear to God, in, like, one minute, I was out. In, <laughs> like, one minute. You know, like everybody says, once you're, like, knocked out from the anesthesia, you literally, like, wake up with titties. Like... It goes by so fast. No pain when I woke up. I had no pain. I obviously just felt like pressure on my chest from the ACE bandages. They're a little sore now. I feel like the pain meds are starting to wear off. So we are icing them. It's just like kind of hard because the ice, like there's so many layers, you know? So it's like, I feel like I'm not really icing anything. Jay's been like reading through the videos from my nurses and going through all the paperwork so he can like properly take care of me and i am having some like friends stop by later to like bring me some celebratory food and say hi so i'm so grateful for all of my best friends who have like you know congratulated me and are like coming to see me and like i woke up to so many text messages today like it's gonna make me emotional because i love you guys and 
y'all are my besties that's the scoop you guys I, I look a little beat up but i'm out of surgery it went great i love you guys thank you for being here with me i will see you in just a few minutes this is not the end of the video but i just want to say thank you for coming along this journey with me and today was the day so um now that the anesthesia is worn off a little bit better and i can talk to you guys a little bit more so basically here i am all bandaged up jay's about to come brush my hair for me um i can't like use my arms i have to keep my arms like t-rex arms so i gotta be really careful when i go to the bathroom or like go to grab stuff or like adjust myself the way i'm sitting but you guys i'm so happy like i've probably cried with tears of joy like a few times because even with the bandages on just like look how good it looks on my body like i just feel like i look so much more proportionate already what the fuck is that Ashley, what? Ashley, you this morning. i was under anesthesia this morning i don't remember you shit didn't give me a baton. <laughs> my dad gave jay a baton um it's honestly comfortable it's just like really tight for obvious reason it's really really tight but it has to be like that i'll update you guys in a little bit um that's a scoop right now feeling really good it's just really sore all under here all of this is sore hi guys i just wanted to do an update it's around seven o'clock i actually have not slept since i have woken up from the anesthesia so it's been really crazy to just like slowly have my memory come back as you guys see in those clips i was absolutely completely out of it my boyfriend has been so amazing through all this and has helped me so much literally feels like he's my babysitter i feel so bad he has to like pull me out of bed he has to like literally watch me go to the bathroom in case i need help and i'm just like so grateful for him the meds are starting to wear off so i am in a little bit of pain i'm very very sore and as far as the stitches i can feel them a little bit but it's not like agonizing like i'd say on a one to ten scale i'm probably like a five like it feels like i have a really bad cramp almost like a charlie horse like all the way across my chest so but i do get my bandages off tomorrow at um 11 30 and it's so crazy like i can't move my arms a lot but even if you look at them from the side it's like such a big difference compared to what i had before and that's crazy that's kind of my update. I will do another update before I go to sleep tonight after I take my pills and hopefully I feel a little better after that because I feel a lot of pressure on my chest and I'm really sore right now. So yeah, I'm really happy. Hello you guys. It is the day after surgery. I am looking a little busted. It was a really, really rough night last night. Um, I didn't record before I went to bed because I was honestly just like in so much pain here we are i would honestly say the worst of my pain and the soreness was definitely last night and this morning um i'm feeling a little better now because i took my advil and my meds for the day i actually go back in an hour to get my band-aids taken off so i'm so excited i get to see the big reveal today I'm just really sore they're definitely swollen and yeah i will see you guys in a second i'm still kind of waking up so Okay guys, it's a little rainy, um, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But I'm actually in the car with my parents on the way back home, or almost home. I got my bandages off, so we have the bra on. I'll show a little more later today when I get home and settled in, but I'm so happy. Hi everyone, the bandages are off. I'm feeling great. I'm so happy. It is like three days post-op. I didn't really film anything yesterday or the day before just because like, I don't know. It's so weird. I'm not used to like being in bed all the time and doing nothing. The days have just kind of like mushed together and it's so weird that I'm already like three days post-op. So here is the little result. I am wearing the bra, of course, that they have you wear after. I am still very swollen and they are kind of like sticking out like little torpedoes right now. We look very big right now, but as time goes on and as I start to heal more, they're gonna start to drop a little bit more and the space in the middle is gonna close. So they're gonna drop 
and like come out more at the bottom instead of up here. Um, my muscles are just like freaking out and everything is so swollen. I've been so sore. Jay has been doing an amazing job taking care of me and showering me and feeding me and cleaning and taking care of the cats and just doing like everything that I usually do for myself and around the house. So he's been absolutely amazing. Let me give you a little update on the healing process so far. So I would say definitely like the day after like coming out of surgery, the initial day of surgery, I was fine until nighttime when the pain meds like wore off. And then I was in really bad pain. The worst pain was like the night after surgery and the next morning, uh, it was it was bad. I was really sore, a few tears were shed, but that was honestly, I wanna say the worst part of the entire surgery was the IV and um, like the night of, the night after surgery and the morning after surgery. Yeah, but the last two days have been a lot better. Obviously, um, I'm getting better each day. Um, twice or like three times a day, I do take the bra off for a little bit and I put coconut oil and lotion all over them and I do my massages. I have to like take my fingers and like massage them down like that. And I also have to like push them in on the sides to massage them just so like while they're healing, my muscles are, you know, pushing everything in the right direction. Right now, I am not in too much pain. I actually was able to drive to Starbucks this morning, so that's very cool. Today was the first day that Jay had to go back to work, so I'm kind of, you know, on my own trying to like get back in the schedule of doing things, and it's just been, it's been weird. It's been really hard because obviously I can't like reach stuff and I can't like pick up things that are heavy right now, so like, I can't clean the house and pick up stuff like how I usually do. So my friends are gonna come over in a little bit and help me because my boyfriend's not gonna be home for a few more hours. So that's very, very nice of them. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now as far as how I feel about them. I am super, super happy. Of course, you can see like the whole um, update picture if you want to see what's going on underneath this i will have my of linked down below it's insane you guys like it feels weird having weight on my chest i did go from like a a cup to almost a c cup i have uh i think 275 cc's that they put in me hello you guys i am one week post-op today that is insane my surgery was a week ago um Honestly can't tell if it went by super fast or if it felt like forever. I'm finally able to drive. I'm finally able to kind of give myself a shower. Jay just has to help me with like the little things. Still can't reach up super high, but I can do my hair and my makeup and put on clothes pretty much. So feeling pretty good for one week post-op. This is going to be the last little clip of this kind of uh, vlog that I've put together here. And I actually do have um, another video up on my channel that is that is already up. It's my um, unboxing video for Dolls Kills. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. The link's gonna be down below. And as you guys know, I am going to be, sorry my fan is like going, it's super annoying, but whatever. And then I have like all this stuff from my unboxing sitting over here. So no matter how I put the camera angle, it's just not having it today. There's stuff everywhere. So I'm, like I said, feeling pretty good. I got my vaccine also this week, so I probably shouldn't have done that when I was still healing because I did get kind of really sore and like tired from my vaccine, which did probably not th help me at all this weekend. I felt like crap all weekend. Back on my content game this week, not 100%, still not pushing myself. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for following along my journey with me. If you guys are here from my TikTok or Instagram, you have no idea how much every single message and comment about my surgery and my entire process means to me like it has made this entire thing so much easier for me to go to like me literally getting emotional tearing up because i'm an emotional little girl but yeah i just love you guys a lot and it's been a crazy crazy year for me i never expected to come this far in any of my social media platforms in my entire life and social media is something that i've always wanted to do so this is just huge for me. This is just like a really big deal. All of the opportunities that have been brought into my life in the past year. And I just can't be any more appreciative like to the universe and to you guys who have helped me out. Just 
it's crazy. It's like a whole new Nessie, whole new um, year. I got my biddies done. Um, it was definitely worth it. Like I said, the worst pain was literally the IV and like the night and morning after. So worth it. I'm so happy for my body. I'm so happy I did this for myself. It's something that I've wanted for so long and I'm so happy. Like I'm so happy. I was doing, I was trying on my clothes today for my unboxing and I was just like blown away. I was just looking in the mirror and I was like, I can't believe this is actually my body. Words cannot even describe. But I will be making a part two, um, you know, following up probably in like a week from now about like my recovery process and more in detail about how, um, about how all that went for me because um, I don't know, this week has just kind of been crazy and I didn't expect like my healing week to just be this like, you know, mentally stressful on me. So I didn't get as much done as I thought I was going to. Yeah, I think this video probably turned out really good. This is like the most successful vlog I've ever really had and I'm so grateful that you guys came on this journey with me. I genuinely hope that this video helped anybody, you know, decide on if they want to get a surgery like this or not, you know, no matter if it has to do with your gender or if you're just wanting like a breast augmentation like me or any type of cosmetic surgery, if you really want your nose done or, you know, anything, anything that makes you super self-conscious and like you've been thinking about um, getting surgery, that's just something you've been like on the fence about. I really hope this video helps you decide and not be so scared. Um, you know to like go forward because I was really scared of surgery before I did this but you know just keep in mind that um, if you're gonna do something like this you're like make sure you're doing it for yourself and make sure you're not doing it because of what anybody else wants because half the population is gonna tell you yes do it and the other half is gonna tell you no don't do it surgery is bad like you're perfect the way you are and the controversy that I've dealt with on TikTok this week has been insane and I might just make a whole video soon about what I've been dealing with on my TikTok because it's been that crazy and if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram you know what's been going on with people being really nasty about my surgery on there just know even I went through hate getting my surgery which is something that's like you know I guess terrible to think about and I'm sure even on YouTube there's going to be people that like want to leave hate comments but you know just keep in mind that I did this for myself and myself only and I'm so much more confident and I'm so proud of myself and happy that I did this and that's all that matters because I'm living for myself and nobody else and I want to live happy and to my full extent and if you know getting a surgery makes me feel better then I don't care. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and I hope you guys um, are excited to see more from me because I'm excited to create for you. So I will see you guys very soon.